Students, you students, you are welcome to further math, mathematics class. My name is Shaguda Reto M. I'll be taking you further mathematics. Today, we are starting with the straight line. And we are considering the Cartesian coordinates. The Cartesian coordinates. Now, a position of points in space, we can represent it by identifying the coordinates. For example, if you know a point, if you are given a point in the space, you can identify that point with coordinates. And that is called the coordinate system. That is a coordinate system. So, for what we have, we are familiar with the xy plane and that is why what we have here we have the y axis which is the vertical one and the horizontal axis is the uh, the x axis so this is a position this is the vertical position and this is the horizontal position but we have a point here we have a point q and that point suppose from this is the origin O is the origin. The point along this point is A, and the point along the y axis is P. So the point at which the two meet is Q, and that point is A comma B. So that is why we say if we know a particular point in space, we can determine we can determine the point using the coordinate uh, uh, system. So, from what we have here, we can divide the points into four quadrants. We can divide the points into four quadrants. The first one is the first quadrant, which is along this x-axis. The second one is still along the x-axis. Below the x-axis is in the negative end is the third quadrant and below the x-axis in the positive is the fourth quadrant. So let's see an example. Now we said we can have the points. We can determine the point. We can determine the coordinates of the point. Now suppose this is our Cartesian plane. Suppose this is our Cartesian plane. That's example one. We have these points. This is the positive axis of the y, this is the negative axis, this is the positive axis of x, and this is the negative axis. So, we want to identify these points. The question says, find the coordinates in the letter points in the diagram. So, we want to find the values of the coordinates. Okay, so the point A we have what? A, let's trace it. This is point A. Trace it to x axis. Trace it to y axis. Now, in writing in coordinates, the x axis come first. Please take note. In writing the coordinates, the x axis will come first. You write x before y. Is that taking? You write x before y. So for this one now, A we have the coordinates of A that's 2, comma 3. 2, comma 3. Then B has what? B, 3, comma, 2. 3, comma, 2. Then C, where is C? Here is our C. This is along the X axis. So we take into consequence the X first. So our X is our minus 3, comma, what? Minus 5. Minus 3, comma, minus 5. So sorry. We have our G. Okay, C is minus 3, comma, minus 5. And our G is what? Where is D? D is minus 4, comma, minus 2. Minus 4, comma, minus 2. Our E is what? Where is E? This is E. E is X. First, minus 2, comma, 4. And F is what? F is minus 5, comma, 
2. Minus 5, comma, 2. Then G what? G is what? Okay, maybe I should leave G and H for you to practice, to identify the point. You give me that before the next class. So, now let's now move on to distance between two points. Now we know that we can identify the point with uh, the coordinates. Then the next thing is to determine distance between two points. Okay, from the diagram here, I have this point P at point x1, y1 and q, x2, y2. I want to determine the, the distance between these two points. How will I do that? It is, if I join these points to this point, I can draw a perpendicular line. I can draw a perpendicular line to meet at R. Drawing a perpendicular line to meet at R. So that I will have this to be 90 degrees. Now, from this point to this point, don't forget this is x1, y1 and this is x2, y2. That means the point from here to here is x1, then from here to here is x2. But the difference between this point and this point is x2 minus x1. Likewise, if I come here, from this point to this point is my y1 because it's smaller, but from this point to this point is my y2. So for me to determine, I said this point to this point is y1, then this point to this point is y2. So for me to determine this point, it will be y1, y2 minus y1. Is that taking y2 minus y1? Now, that now let's now proceed. We have labeled this uh, diagram O T S P Q R. Is that taking? So our O T is X one, just like I've said. Our T S, okay. O T T P T P is Y Y one. O T is X one. T P is Y one. Then O S is Y two x2 rather and our sq is y2 so we can proceed to what we have here that means our os minus ot will give me x2 minus x1 and our qr will be y2 minus y1 thus we can now say from triangle pqr from triangle pqr which is a right angle triangle from Pythagoras' rule, it says the square of the hypotenuse side, PQ, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two adjacent sides. That is, for us to determine this, we already know this and we know this. Then we can take the square of this plus the square of this to give us the square of the hypotenuse side. So from there, PQ squared is equal to PR squared plus rq squared, which is equal to x2 minus x1 squared, plus y2 minus y1 squared. And thus, the distance between p and q is given as, since we are finding distance, then we take the square root of both sides. The square root, we cancel squared, we uh, neutralize squared, and we'll be left with x2 minus x1, squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So, now, note. Let's note. If our point is from the origin, if it is from the origin, that is, instead of moving it to this point, we started from this point. Then, our x1 will be 0, and our y1 will be 0. And if x1 is 0, the whole of this will be 0, then we'll be left with x squared. If y1 is 0, the whole of this will be 0, then we'll be left with y squared. So that means if it is from the origin, uh, to this, the distance will be square root of x squared plus y squared. So that is that. So let's take another example. Find the distance between the following pairs of points. 
A, 23,5 and B, 8,9. 2, C, 7,3 and D, 5,1. 3, E, 1, minus 3 and F, minus 4,4. 4. So for the first one, AB is equal to what? The distance between points AB will be 8, that is X2 minus X1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So that will give us square root of what is 8 minus 3, that's 5 squared, plus 9 minus 5, that's 4 squared. So that will give us what? Square root of 25 plus 16, and that is square root of 41. So that is that for that one. The second one, we have CB, CD, and that is square root of x2 minus x1, that's 5 minus 7 squared, plus 1 minus 3 squared. That is what? Square root of 5 minus 7, that's minus 2 squared, plus 1 minus 3, minus 2 squared, which is square root of 4 plus 4, which is square root of 8. So, that is another example. That's another example. So, I want you to take this as your assignment, the third one. I want you to take the third one as your assignment with this. Any hard one to join, find the points between the distance between the following pair of points. Okay, let me add one more G and H. Okay, for G now, I have it as 8, comma, minus 14 and H into. Minus 2 comma 10. Minus 2 comma 10. So you take Roman figure 3 and Roman figure 4 as your assignment. So we meet in the next class. When we meet in the next class, we'll continue from where we stop. But before next class, I want you to try as much as possible to go over this work. Take uh, the assignments, do them and get them submitted before the next class. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.